Welcome to Tales from SYL Ranch, the bitch you channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. Well, I've got your attention, I'd like to ask that if you like what I'm doing, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, share me on social media, and tell all of your friends, family, neighbors, pets, and livestock to do the same. I would appreciate your support via my PayPal tip jar, my subscribe star, my merch store on Teespring, or a place on my website where you can support me further. And there are links to all of these in my description box. Apparently, there are some complete idiots starting to camp out in the small town of Rachel, Nevada, population 54. This is all part of the big old Storm Area 51 event. Now, if you don't know, Storm Area 51 was a joke. The idea was that if millions of people simultaneously made a Naruto run on Area 51, the complex's well-known security apparatus couldn't stop them all. That this was a joke is obvious from the use of the Naruto run. For those who don't know, a Naruto run refers to the way that a particular character in a very popular anime series runs. And anime, for those who don't know, is a popular form of animation whose roots are in Japan. Now, in real life, running like the character Naruto isn't even mechanically feasible. It was a joke and an obvious one. Even I, who have relatively limited exposure to anime, knew it was a joke. And yet now there are actually some idiots showing up in Rachel, Nevada, preparing to make their Naruto run on Area 51 tomorrow. For God's sake, don't do this. Now, Area 51, if you're not familiar, is the common name for the classified U.S. Air Force facility located within the Nevada Test and Training Range. Officially, the facility is called Homey Airport or Groom Lake, named for the assault flats that you can see here. It's a big white spot um, situated next to the airfield. Although details of the facility's operations are not publicly known, the Air Force says that it is an open training range and it is most likely supporting the development and testing of experimental aircraft and weapons systems. The Air Force acquired the site in 1955 primarily for flight testing the Lockheed U-2 space plane. It is also likely that both the Lockheed F-117 Nighthawk, also known as the Stealth Fighter, and the Northrop Grumman, Grumman B-2 Spirit, also known as the Stealth Bomber, were developed and tested there. No doubt many other classified aircraft and satellites and weapon systems have also been developed or tested there. The base has never been declared a secret base, but all research and occurrences within Area 51 are classified top secret slash sensitive compartmented information. The CIA publicly acknowledged the existence of the base for the first time on June 25, 2013, following a Freedom of Information Act request filed in 2005, and they declassified documents detailing the history and purpose of Area 51. The intense secrecy surrounding the base has made it the frequent subject of conspiracy theories and a central component to the UFO folklore. In all reality, it's highly unlikely that any UFOs nor alien life are being housed at Area 51. It is simply a top secret research facility. Base security is rather legendary. The area around the base is under constant surveillance. Anyone who attempts to enter without the proper security clearance is met by armed guards. The intruders rarely make it more than 100 yards onto the base property before being intercepted. They are then detained and prosecuted. Sometimes they're let off with a slap of the wrist, and sometimes they're chucked into a federal prison. Now, if you want to see what happens when you enter Area 51, there are any number of YouTube videos, and it is clearly, decidedly dangerous. The idea behind the Storm Area 51 event is if enough people simultaneously make incursions into the area, base security will be unable to stop them all. Those who aren't detained or killed will then be able to discover the secrets being kept there, which assume they will be the evidence of extraterrestrials. Don't you believe it? Area 51 personnel are authorized to use deadly force if necessary to stop intruders. That means that if you enter the grounds, either normally or via the style of a Naruto run, they can shoot you. If there are too many intruders, they can shoot you with artillery and tanks. 
If there are really too many, they can carpet bomb you. And don't think for a moment that they won't. Now, certainly, they'll try to use le non-lethal measures first. And I'm sure that for the vast majority of peoples, people, some well-placed tear gas would be enough to deter them. But do you really want to take that chance? So let's be clear. Area 51 security has the authority to kill you. If they can't deter or apprehend you, they will do just that. Do you real, really want to die in the attempt of discovering something that probably doesn't exist in the first place? So if you're showing up in Rachel, Nevada or anywhere else in an attempt to Naruto run on Area 51, I'd urge you to just have yourselves a nice party and go home. Base security already knows you're there and they've no doubt prepped for it. There are already no doubt tanks and artillery prepped and they already have an Air Force base from which to bomb you. At best, you're going to wind up with a face full of tear gas and a prison term. At worst, you're going to wind up a corpse. I guarantee that you will never make it far enough to find out the existence of aliens. So just have yourself a weekend drunken kegger and go home. If you don't, well, then I'm going to take a great deal of smug satisfaction when you are posthumously awarded a Darwin Award. These awards are reserved for individuals who have voluntarily removed themselves from the gene pool via their own extraordinarily stupid actions. So if you do this, well, the collective intelligence of the human race is going to be all the better for it. And that's all that I have to say about that. I'd love to keep the conversation going, so please leave your comments, questions, and nasty remarks, and I'll do my best to respond to you. So thanks for watching. That's all the time that we have today for this episode of the highly acclaimed, world-renowned Tales from SYL Ranch, the Bitchute channel where everyone is entitled to my opinion. And I'm Bill Stone. Ultimate power in this world has always been one simple thing, the control and manipulation of minds.